We're gonna sneak up on Diaz. What's going on? Hey, what's up, man? A little bit louder. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> All right, so this is a car we have today. Uh, Diaz is about to pull it in. It's hard to see in here, huh? But there is a big dent all throughout here. So uh, I don't know if we have the uh, the fender in a blend. I got to check the estimate. But we're definitely doing the back door. So we're going to pull it in here and uh, we're going to get disassembling on it. Wow. Show, can you just get that on camera? Show us where. Back up a little bit. There you go. In right here, out right here, and in again. And again, low. Look at, look at, right here. Right here is low, and here is low. The whole thing, there's all dense. I wonder what, how, how this got hit. Must have been a pole they rubbed up against. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have you disassemble it. I'll put you on a little time lapse, and then I'll check the estimate and see what's going on here. All right, so we got the car, Diaz got the car all cleaned up. We degreased it, washed it. So now we're ready to start um, body work. And pretty much what that does is it removes all the contaminants so we're not sanding any uh, any oils or anything into the paint. You get a better look at this car and you'll see a dent in here, uh, a lot of high spots. We're gonna mark them all. Um, can you take the marker and any high spot, put like a line on it. Just, like just yeah, yeah. That way we can see where they're at. Just highlight it because we're gonna knock all those down. And then there's like low here. Yeah, yeah, that's all low. And then look at, there's one right on the body line. This is, a, this is borderline replace the door. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the, there's no way about it around it. This car is going to have some mud on it, but we're going to try to get the metal um, as straight as we can. So we're going to set it up and we'll knock down all the high spots and then we'll try to pull the lows and see where we're at. Got one more. Is there something here? Look, you got one here. Feel that? Yeah, right here. God. Like a low right here. A low winner, huh? Yeah. Hi. It's a nice baby face. <laughs> All right, so we'll get to work and see what we can do.
right, so take a look what we have. Uh, we have everything nicely sanded. There are some low spots here and there, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's a lot better. So I'm gonna use uh, Dirt Glass's a little bit thicker filler so we don't have to put so many layers of Bondo on it. And this is a very strong reinforced um, uh, filler. So we're gonna focus on the bad areas around here, get that as good as we can. Um, and then we'll hopefully only need about one or two light coats of the actual filler itself. So I'm gonna mix this up, let it dry, and then we'll come back tomorrow and then uh, we'll do the rest of the work. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna prime the whole door pretty much and scuff the uh, back door and scuff the uh, fender for a blend and then that's pretty much gonna be it. Okay, so I wasn't wasn't totally happy with the um, surface and the way that it looked. So what I did with the door is um, we sanded it down with 180, blocked it out. There was a couple areas that were a little bit high, and we went ahead and we reprimed the whole entire door. So I'm really, really confident now that we have a very, very, very flat door and our body lines are all where they need to be. We'll go ahead and block this down in the morning and then we'll do our fenders, our fender and our quarter panel for the blend. But I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. So we have the door all sanded down. I uh, went with 320. We blocked it out with 320, and then I went over the whole thing with a uh, 400 grit on a soft pad since we're gonna seal this. So this door is really, really good. Thanks to that guy over there. He redid all my body work. Um, <laughs> so now we're gonna uh, blend because you cannot match color just by painting the door. You have to blend and blend so you won't see any of the differences in a pearl. So we're gonna hit this up around 600, 800. Same thing over here. And then she should be good to go. Like I said, with 320, then 400, and then we're gonna seal it. But then we went over the whole thing with gray scuff pad and scuff stuff. So this is ready to go. In the ideal world, we'd be able to remove these, but uh, we have to go by the estimate. And we got the back door all ready to go. So we're gonna pull into the booth in just a bit. And I'm gonna let it dry out of the sun. We got it completely clean. So we'll see in the booth.
Okay, so we're back here in the booth. Um, it's ready to get plastic up, but we had to run down east to get some plastic. We ran out. But um, for this particular color, I have my spray up card, and this is NH603P. And you can see that the card on the right is lighter than the card on the left. Now this is a spray out card. It's got two and a half, three and a half, four and a half coats of pearl. On this particular color, I left out a percentage of the actual uh, yellow toners because in this system, for this particular paint code, the uh, yellow toner is a little bit too powerful and we need a little bit of a lighter color. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out some of the yellow toner and some of the orca uh, toner and that's gonna help me get to where I wanna be. And I usually start off with about 10%. So I'll just take 0.10 and multi multiply that by the amount that I'm putting in. And what that will do is that will tell me the actual amount that I need to put in there. And I can adjust my color from there. Uh, but I wanna make sure that although I'm blending, I wanna make sure that I have a nice color to blend. I don't wanna blend a wrong color. I wanna blend the closest color as I can into the fenders and into that rear door. So the actual uh, toner here that will make it yellower, 580, because right now it's just white and some black toner. See that right there? So what I'll do is I'll put just a few drops in according to my um, calculations. And then by that time, it'll be ready to go. Now I wanna talk to you about what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm actually gonna be sealing the door I'm gonna put tape here. I'm gonna put tape here, actually paper, seal the whole door first, and then I'll be able to pull that paper off and then blend one way and then blend the other way. And then I'm gonna show you a trick to lose your, um, your blend before you put the pearl on. So I'll take you through there in just a moment once we get this paint mixed up. Okay, so it's all masked up. Mario, what he's doing is we're gonna mask up this um, back door and a fender because we're gonna seal it. And we wanna try to keep as much material off of our blend panels as possible. The first coat we're going to put on and then probably like the second coat, we're just gonna blend the second coat into the back door and into the fender so that we have the same uh, color going underneath our base coat. Need some tape? Okay. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and mask that up and then we're gonna set it up. I've got the base and the uh, pearl all mixed up. This is the, uh, let me look at it. This is the pearl, this is the base. We're gonna seal it first and sealer is going to help us give a uniform finish as we we're talking about. And then the base will go right over that. It's all cleaned. We cleaned it many times. Sometimes on white, it'll have little black marks that you have to sand out. Cause if you clear over them, then you pretty much made it a part of the uh, paint job. So uh, we have airflow coming from this way to that way. So we wanna make sure that this whole fender is gonna be masked off because you get overspray over this with the sealer. So uh, let's we'll set you up and we'll keep this going. So you just saw the sealer going down. It's uh, flashing right now. It will flash a little bit, uh, well, pretty much flat, maybe like a semi-gloss. And what I did is you saw me blend it into the fenders. That The reason why I did that is so we have the same color underneath, the same ground coat. And it's gonna mean our pearl, our white pearl is gonna match perfectly, okay? And that's very important, that's at least in my opinion, to do. So we're gonna continue to let this flash and then we're gonna put the base on there and then the pearl to follow. So that's very important. Make sure you keep it small on your um, 
on whatever you're blending because this is gonna get stepped out, stepped out, and we wanna make sure we stay away from the end, all right? Same thing here, I wanna keep it away from the pillar, I wanna keep it away from the hood, so I'm kinda spraying down, spraying down towards the, uh, the wheel well. the last time you did it and it didn't work out too well uh welcome back so you it, saw it didn't work out too well it does where mario is still learning a little <laughs> bit about auto body and sometimes he doubts but anyways i'm gonna show you a quick trip tri trick so if you come over here in the booth and take a look at this you can see this area is where we're doing the blend right a little bit of a distance you can see this area is a little bit wider all right this area is a little bit wider, okay? So how I'm gonna lose that is I'm gonna mix 50-50, one-to-one, -one, half and half, the pearl and our um, base coat. And I'll do one coat and you're gonna lose that transition and then I'm gonna do one and a half coats of pearl and you're going to be able to see the difference. Come over here. Mario, you might wanna learn from this, okay? So 50-50, one-to-one, I'm gonna go up to four and then I'm gonna go up to eight, so. There, that's work, and my pearl. This is pearl. I'm gonna go up to eight, look at me, woo! So now, I have a mix of the two. And I'm gonna put one coat of this on, and you're gonna see how we're gonna lose that transition right there at the edge of our blend. So, come along and I'll show you that right now. So now we're gonna do one and a half coats of pearl, we'll step it out to about here, and then on a fender, we'll bring it out to about here, okay? And what I mean by that half coat is that second coat is about 12 inches back, you don't change the pressure or anything like that. So we'll let this flash off, do that one and a half, and it'll be ready for clear. All right, now I'm gonna do the one and a half coats. It's gonna be one coat, and then my second coat is gonna be like an orientation coat, uh, same pressure. It's a very low pressure, around 14, and about 12 inches, and it's gonna make this all look beautiful.
Okay, so the uh, paint has been flashing. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, I don't see any transition of the pearl or the paint into the old. It looks very, very consistent. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect all this paint with clear coat. We're gonna use a 1560 high solids clear. It's a two to one with about 5% reducer. That reducer is gonna help give it a little bit of, loosen up just the hair to help it um, flow out a little bit. And you can add a 5% reducer according to the technical data sheet. This is not something I'm just doing to do. It is, uh, was designed by the chemists who made this clear coat. So it is perfectly okay to do. And this is the clear. And we have it all mixed up. So we're gonna get the clear coating. Okay, I got the car out of the booth. It looks really, really good. And uh, from here, we'll disassemble, buff, we're gonna send her back home. Okay, so we got the car all um, cleaned up. Well, on our end, we still have to send it over to detail to do a final detail, clean it up, make sure it's good for the customer. But we did our part, make sure there's no overspray, clean everything up and quite pleased with it if we look down here there is no dent anywhere came out really nice that's some water over here the body line not only that but the color is really good too i'm gonna bring it outside let's bring it outside right now you know, the cool thing is working on these cars often, we can really dial in the colors because we have a lot of experience with those colors. And this is one of those colors that might've been an issue back in the day, but you know, our system does really well with it. I'm quite pleased with how uh, we are matching. You know, nothing's ever perfect when you're matching a bumper or whatever, but blending, it should be, it should be 100%. I'll take it out here in the sun, a good spot. Show you guys what we got going on. So let's check it out. She looks really nice. Out there in the sun. You know what? I'm not really even quite pleased with the angle of the shot. There we go. Nice and bright and shiny. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope we turn into the next or tune into the next. I'm trying to give you guys some tips and uh, help you along the way. Still learning all about this, but I hope you did enjoy this video. I know I'll take it easy.